What is up everybody? I am Chance and we are back for another video of our life, beginnings, and always. Let's get into it. Last time we had a really fun and interesting time um, with our buddy and pal Cove <laughs> talking about our uh, sexual and romantic identities and our gender identity and expression and how we feel about all that stuff and it was really cool to experience that in a game. With that said, let's see what family does. <laughs> what stuff can we uh, <laughs> run into here? The sun warmed your skin from its place in the sky and you closed your eyes, enjoying the mix of the heat with the pleasant breeze that drifted past you. You and Lee spread out a blanket on top of one of the hills behind your house and had been relaxing there for a while now. Lee had come over earlier in the day, and while a range of activities had been discussed, from staying home to heading down to the beach, a picnic on the hill had been the choice you both settled on. Cool, I was wondering when we were going to get to hang out with her, so it makes sense. This is called family after all. A small spread was laid out in front of you. Some bottled water, soft drinks, as well as chips and sliced fruit. You sat up and reached for a snack, listening to Lee talk away about the musical she had gotten to see a few days ago. <laughs> it was unbelievable. There was singing, dancing, and crazy stunts, and it was all done live right in front of my face. Maybe one day we could go together. I've got to see more shows like that. You smiled at Lee's enthusiasm, knowing how much she enjoyed singing and performing. That's so cute. And she was good at it too. You had gotten the chance to hear her sing a couple of tunes, and you knew she put a lot of effort into it. You also liked to sing, but you weren't very good. You also liked to sing and had talent of your own. You didn't like to sing, but you had been told you were good at it. You weren't good at singing, and that suited you fine. Um, let's go with let's go with that we like to sing, but we aren't very good. Because that's how I am. <laughs> that didn't stop you from doing it, though. I wonder if maybe we could put on our own show. Think of how fun it'd be. We could perform for our parents and ask our friends and some other people to come and watch, too. It'd totally work. Oh, no. Yes, let's do it. I don't know about that. The idea gave you stage fright. Sure, I'll give it a go. That's not a good idea. It'd be embarrassing. F it. It's summertime. We have nothing better to do. Yes, let's do it. You had actually thought about doing something like that before, but never had the chance to. Well, I don't know about all that. <laughs> Lee clapped in excitement and bounced on the balls of her feet, beyond happy that you were on board with her idea. <laughs> I'm gonna sing. Do you want... Do you want it too? Or maybe do something else. We're doing something else if we're bad at that. Let's see. I'll sing too. I'll dance. I'll write the song. I'll do some kind of stunt that goes to the music. I'll pick the outfits. I'll do the makeup. I'll make a backdrop of some kind of stage. Or some kind of stage. Let's see. Let's do, do you want to be the ones that dance? <laughs> oh no. Okay. Okay. We can pick an upbeat song. That way, it'd be easy for you to move. Good point, Lee. Is there anything else that's coming to your head? One more thing? One more thing. <laughs> um, I'll pick the outfits. Because I want to see if we can actually do that. That's a great job for you. You always dress so fashionably. <laughs> Thank you. Is there anything else that's coming to your head? Uh, let's do one more thing. Let's see, we're not gonna sing. I'll write the song. I'll do some kind of stuff. Do you think we would actually write the song? All right, I'll write the song and then we'll see what happens. Oh, I hope it's something dramatic. No, how about fun? Fun is better. What about both? Let's, <laughs> Lee's face lit up at the idea. 
and she gave you a broad smile. That sounds perfect. I think that I'll make... I think... I think that'll... Oh my god. I think that'll all make an amazing show. You've got things pretty covered. Alright. The two of you ran back to your house to grab the supplies you needed, dodging your mom's amused questions before heading back out to the blanket to get started. You made sure you had a notebook and pen down in case some inspiration hit. Lee and you discussed the plans in detail, settling on a song first and then practicing out parts for the show. The afternoon passed quickly, the sun dropping lower and lower in the sky, and after having thoroughly worked out how the show was going to go, you decided to take a break. Oh, you know, we should have invited Cove to watch us practice our show. He could tell us if it's bad before we put on the real thing, and he would too. That's smart, you guessed that would have been okay. I'm glad he didn't see you said nothing. Uh... So, I'm kind of worried that the I'm glad he didn't see part is kind of, uh, Jimmy being embarrassed by it. And maybe he would be a little bit. Like, cause I kind of want it to be a surprise for Cove, but the other part of me wants him to see the practice too. Let's say, let's say that's smart. It's always good to have an extra eye. We should ask him to watch us later. Okay. It's too dark. It's too bad Derek isn't in the neighborhood today. I like him. Yeah, he's a good person. I really like him too. He's okay. He's kind of boring. <laughs> I don't really like him. We'll say, yeah, I really like him too. I knew you would. So exactly how much do you like him? Or maybe there's someone else that I haven't heard of yet. What? What, Lee? Lee wriggled her eyebrows at you suggestively, and you knew exactly what she was implying. Lee, there's nobody I like like that right now. I can't answer that. I have a crush. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're gonna go. I can't answer that. <laughs> Lee's eyes sparkled in an instant, like she just hit the jackpot. What? Who is it? I'm not giving you a name. Someone from school. It's Derek, Mr. Holden, uh, Kyra. Uh, we're 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 just gonna we're just gonna be complete butts. I'm not giving you a name. Tell me something else about them then. This news was just too exciting. She wasn't going to be deterred. You weren't surprised when Lee started squeezing you for more details and you answered as much as you were comfortable with. The two of you talked about your preferences and who you liked and stuff. You found that it was nice having someone to speak with about these sorts of things. Finally, you both decided to pack everything up and head back home for the evening. Lee talked excitedly about the show as you did, and you thought back on what you had already accomplished for it. You could definitely do with a little more practice. But what you had so far was a solid foundation for the performance. Excuse me, what? Upon walking through the front door, you were met with your moms and Elizabeth hovering around each other in the living room. Tension hung thick in the air as the three of them turned to you and Lee frowning slightly. You had interrupted something. Exactly what? You weren't sure. Oh no, Elizabeth is getting into trouble. Wow, who died? What's going on? You looked at between them, but said nothing. Uh, hello. Or, <laughs> gonna say, uh, hello. Oh. Hi, Jamie. Hello, Lee. Welcome back. The room fell quiet again, with no one quite knowing what to say. You felt incredibly awkward, but the silence didn't last long. You don't have to stop just because those two are here. There's no reason to try keeping it a secret. Elizabeth was mad with her arms folded defensively over her chest, but your mom's not in agreement with her. Elizabeth was asking about her parents, her biological ones. Oh. I always assumed that we were um, Ma's kids. And 
and then mom adopted us, basically. All right, well, we'll see. The world spun around you at the news. You couldn't understand. Why was this happening now? When you glanced at Lee, she shuffled her feet uncomfortably as though she didn't know if she should be there or not anymore. You didn't know either. Your moms had always been open and honest about the fact that neither of them had given birth to you or your sister, but the details hadn't been fully explained before. It made sense that Elizabeth didn't know a lot about her biological parents and wanted to know more. You just had never thought you'd accidentally stumble into it. Elizabeth looked at your parents expectantly. She wasn't going to let the unintentional interruption derail things. We don't want to keep that information from either of you. It's your right to know your past, but we did want to wait until you asked us to hear yourselves. Well, it's happening now, so... Your mom shared a nervous glance, and Ma took a quick breath before speaking again. I adopted you from the Philippines when you were just a baby. Elizabeth dropped her arms, her eyebrows shooting upward in surprise. Wait, I wasn't born here? No, you weren't. You could clearly see that your sister was appalled by this information. You struggled even more with what to do or how to react. Am I going to have to pass some tests to even be a citizen? <laughs> no. No, you were adopted into the country. We took care of things. You're already a citizen. You have nothing to worry about. I followed all the laws when it came to bringing a child into the U.S. Nothing can be held against you. Elizabeth sighed, placated with the information but still far from happy. Who are my parents? As people. Why did they put me up for adoption in the first place? Ma softly put her hands over Elizabeth's shoulders, trying to provide some support before she gave her the answer. Oh no. Y'all. I'm so sorry, sweetie. Your parents were reported to have died. They didn't go into details on the specifics of how, but you were an orphan. I wish we had better news for you, Elizabeth. Elizabeth was torn between emotions. Her eyes filled with tears as she threw her hands in the air, set settling on enraged. Great. So I can never meet them, even if I wanted to. Not that I could have anyway, since they lived in another part of the world when they were still alive. No. Elizabeth turned her back on you and your moms and stormed off, sprinting up the stairs into her room before anyone could stop her. I have to go talk to her. Oh, that's so sad. Ma immediately started to follow her, but mom gently held her by the arm and shook her head. I don't know. We should give her a little space to process it all. Your ma's head hung low, but she stopped walking. With Elizabeth now gone, the two of them seemed to remember you and Lee were still standing awkwardly off to the side. I'm sorry you had to see all that. It's not how I expected it would have happened when the time came. But since it's the topic of the day, Jamie, is there anything you'd like to ask? <laughs> Uh, this, this part started off so nice and cheerful and bubbly, and now it's just, oh no. You deserve to know, after all. Lee patted your back and gave you a supportive look. I want to know, no, I don't want to hear, not right now. You couldn't even answer. You know what? Let's do it. I want to know. Your parents both nodded in sync to your reply, ready to talk. Um, I can leave if you want to have things be private. Yeah, let's go for privacy. Thanks. Lee smiled in understanding before heading down the hall, going to wait in another room until it was over. You turned to face your parents again, preparing yourself for what they were about to tell you. Ma was the first to speak, her voice quivering with emotion. You were adopted as a baby, but two years after Elizabeth. We used a different organization that time, and you were adopted within the U.S. We're sorry to tell you, Jamie. 
your parents also passed away, and no other family member took you in, if there were any. That's why we wanted to wait until you asked. We didn't want to suddenly drop that in your lap. We wanted you to be prepared. We're sorry, Jamie. Yeah, it's sad. Thank you for telling me. Okay, you said nothing. It's not your fault. You didn't kill them, right? Uh, you started to cry. You were so angry. Oh. What do we do here? What do we do here? This one is hard. So part of me wants to do the it's not your fault, you didn't kill them, right? Part of me wants to do the you started to cry because that's sad and confusing and a whole bunch of different things. And the other part of me wants to do the thank you for telling me just to be polite. It's weird because it's sad to know that your biological parents are dead. Like, I don't know if Jamie ever knew them. <laughs> this is the hardest decision I've had to make. Um, let's just go. It's not your fault you didn't kill them, right? You were trying to lighten the mood, but your mom didn't seem any less grim. I tried. Thank you for listening, Jamie. If there's anything else you want to know, all you have to do is ask. We'll do our best to answer any questions you have. How are you feeling now? Are you going to be okay? I feel fine. I feel fine, but you didn't mean that. You started to cry. You held back the tears, but you weren't fine at all. Anger rose inside you. You definitely weren't okay. You said nothing. You know what? Because it would suck, right? It would suck. So I feel so conflicted because I don't want them to be like more sad, but let's just start to cry because I think that's probably the healthy thing to do. And that's probably what Jamie would do. Because it's, it's sad, it's heartbreaking. A lump formed in your throat just as warm tears started falling over your cheeks. You wiped them away with the back of your hand, sniffling quietly. No one seemed to have any words after that. You went up to your room, you needed to stay here with your moms, you wanted to get out of the house, you wanted to see Elizabeth. Well, I kind of want to go back and hang out with Lee, but I feel like we need to stay here with, with our moms. You took a step closer to your moms, glancing at them nervously. They were the biggest source of comfort in your life, and while feeling like your whole world was crashing around you, you wanted to be near them. Ma stepped forward and wrapped you in a hug, while mom rubbed your back and assured you everything would be okay. We promise you that we'll always love you, Jamie. We'll do whatever we can to help you through this. That's right, because we're a family. <laughs> you smiled at their comfort you were so glad your moms were all right you're smushing me um we smiled at their comfort i love you too it was a nice moment and you enjoyed it for as long as you could they both pulled back eventually and grinned at you you knew then that you all had each other and you always would oh this got me <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Why? A knock on the door had all of you snapping your heads towards it for a moment before you exchanged confused looks. Ma pulled herself together with a deep breath and headed over to answer it while you hung back with Mom in the living room. You could hear bits and pieces of conversation at the door and Ma addressing the guests happily. You strained your ears to hear more. Hello. <laughs> oh god. Hello, Cove, sweetie. I see you've come for a visit. Hello. Yeah. Is Jamie here? Ma glanced back over her shoulder at you to gauge your reaction and see if you were up for a guess. When you nodded your head, you turned back to Cove with a smile. She turned back to Cove with, with a smile. He's right here. Come on in. Thanks, Mrs. Pumpernickel. Cove stepped into the house, giving you a wave. Upon seeing everyone standing around, his eyebrows dipped a little. Okay. Is everything okay? Things seem kind of off. You laughed, you wiped your eyes, you smiled at him, you shook your head in answer. We're, we're gonna laugh to be like, I mean, hopefully that's what this does. It's like, spot on, buddy. 
It didn't take long before the others were giggling with you, though Cove looked more confused than ever. With a hand, you indicated for him to follow you to the living room. You sat together with Cove on the couch while your mom's headed off to give the two of you some privacy, and you explained to him what had just happened. It took a little while to relay all the information, but Cove listened intently and nodded the whole time. Hey. A voice made you all look up, and you saw your sister standing at the bottom of the stairs. She walked closer, and you didn't quite know what to do or what she was planning on saying. Would you mind going? I want to talk to just Jamie. You can come back. It's not going to be forever or anything. Cove seemed equal parts concerned and skeptical. Leaving now wasn't a concept that thrilled him. You can't ask that. You nod your head in agreement. You want to talk- I want to talk to you too. Um, we'll nod our head in agreement. Sorry, Cove. If she wanted to talk to you in private, it was obviously about something important. You waited until the two of you were alone before fix before fixing her with an inquisitive look. Elizabeth folded her arms, looking you over. Did moms did moms tell you about your parents too? Oh, I don't want to talk about it. My birth parents also died. We're gonna be up front and forward with her, and hopefully comforting and all that stuff. Elizabeth broke eye contact after that. Sorry. Why did you want to talk to me? Elizabeth raised an eyebrow at the question, as though the answer should be obvious. I was worried about you. I was the one who brought it up, but I made you deal with whatever was left when I was gone. What a good sister. She sighed, glancing upwards for a moment before settling on you once more. I wanted to ask you what happened without everyone breathing down our necks. That was pretty crappy of you just to bail. I'm amazed you noticed that was unkind. Thank you for thinking of me. I'm not mad at you. You were quietly surprised by her admission. Huh. I mean, I didn't really look at her storming away or bringing it up and then like shouting it out basically and causing all of that to happen. I didn't, and then her running away from it. I didn't really view that as anything wrong so we're just gonna say i'm not mad at you she stuck her nose up a little at that but her smile was soft all of this it upset me she slipped back into a scowl i'm sorry jamie it's a pretty depressing topic yeah you've been born in the u.s to become <laughs> you have been born you have to be born in the U.S. to become president. What? You had never heard of that dream of hers before. She noticed your bafflement and continued. I get I was never going to be president, but it just feels weird. Having stuff taken away, not even getting a chance at it. I don't like having to know that when I was born, I was going to have a completely different life. So different I can't even think about what it looked like in my head. I could have spoken another language, lived away from everything I've ever seen here, had someone else as my sibling, and then my parents died, and I was adopted, and the life I got became a totally new thing forever. Well, but, like, but other things could have happened too. <laughs> I can't go back to what it was even if I wanted to. A heaviness settled between you and the person who became your sister. I feel like that too. You knew exactly how she felt. I don't really understand. Eli. What are you doing? Come here. <laughs> you could have done it, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm recording. He was stuck. We have the cats and we have like this board that um, basically blocks an exit and he couldn't get over it. <laughs> Anyways, back to this sadness. Um, like I want to say that we knew how exactly how she felt, but at the same time, yeah, let's just do it. We'll see. 
It was a confusing feeling to have lived one way for as long as you can remember, but not having it be what was originally yours. Elizabeth watched you seriously. She was still trying to make sense of this to you and herself. I don't know why today was the day. Nothing came up to make me ask the question. It was just something I've had in my head for a while. When it was just me and moms in the living room, I just kind of said it, finally, and there you go. She shifted from one foot to another, relaxing her stance just a bit. She also spoke more gently. Learning about them and what happened doesn't change how you feel about our family, Jamie. She smirked, fixing you with sharp eyes. I'd already figured a long time ago that, mo that moms weren't our biological parents. That wasn't news. Technically, one of them could have been related to you. You kept listening to Elizabeth. It really doesn't change anything, question mark. I'm going to say this, because that's what I thought. Our moms can have kids, just not t both together. True, but I'm not half white or native Hawaiian, so no, neither of them could have been my mom. <laughs> nice try. Nice try, smart aleck. The thing about the family I was first born in would have made me decide that this wasn't my family anymore. If you had hoped you'd be free of my big sisterly status, don't think you're so lucky. She bumped her shoulder against yours playfully, her lips tilted at the corners. You'll always be my little brother. That's so sweet. You'll always be my little brother. You smiled softly at her, you jokingly groaned at the prospect. You bumped her back, you hugged her. Let's hug her. It took a few seconds, but she gave you a quick squeeze in return. You'll always be my family too. I think I'm really lucky. You took in the moment quietly. Um, we'll say you'll always be my family too. Chuckling, she seemed pleased with how the conversation had gone in the end. We should let them come back now. They're probably wondering what's going on. It's been a long day for everybody. You gave her a nod. You can all come back now. Elizabeth called up the stairs and you soon heard footsteps as your moms returned. Lee and Cove came back down too, poking their heads out from behind your moms. Can we do the show now? <laughs> How did the talk go? Ma gave the two of you a small smile, though you could tell she was still worried. I hope there was no disownment happening down here. Hey, I hope you're all right. Lee came up towards you, a soft smile plastered on her face. And are you okay, Elizabeth? Elizabeth rolled her eyes and huffed a breath, and you knew she wasn't used to showing her vulnerable side. I'm doing fine. Lee nodded, though you could tell she didn't quite believe her. Well now, since we're all here, how about we do something together as a family? That sounds like an excellent idea. We should have some fun before the night's over. Totally. I love the sound of that. Yeah, okay. Why not? You hid the smile that threatened to tilt your lips, knowing that Elizabeth must have been in a good mood if she hadn't even teased Co for being part of it. And no matter what she could have said about it, you wanted him to be here. The two of you had practically grown up together over the past five years. Who's got a suggestion? It should be something we can do here in the house with everyone in the same room. You suddenly remember the show you and Lee had been working on earlier. Maybe we can do our show? You were bummed you never got to do it after all of that. You weren't so keen on that now after what had happened. Nah, we're gonna, we're gonna try the show. A show? This is the first time we're hearing of this. I'm intrigued. It would be amazing if you put on a show for us to watch. Oh yeah, I need to see what you've cooked up. That'd be cool. You smiled at Lee, who returned the gesture while bouncing on her heels in excitement. Take some seats and we'll get everything together. Your moms collected the chairs from around the dining table and set, and set them in a row in the living room where there was enough space for the show. 
While they did that, you and Lee quickly gathered the supplies you needed and rehashed the plan one last time. You went through the song you had written one last time. You also took a moment to cycle through the dance moves you had planned. Finally, you changed into the outfits you had picked out. When the two of you returned to the living room, everyone was sitting and chatting amongst themselves while they waited. The group quieted down when you and Lee stood in front of them on your makeshift stage. Lee was buzzing quietly with excitement beside you. You felt nervous all of a sudden. You were pumped for the show. You were unsure how to feel. Um, I think we're probably feeling some slight nervousness. No matter how small the audience was, it was still all eyes on you. Okay, so, welcome to our show. We only came up with it today, but we promise it'll be good. You say quiet. We're nervous, but we have to go all in. That's what we have to do. So, thank you for being here tonight. No refunds. You're gonna be really impressed. <laughs> no refunds. Laughter rippled through the mini audience. Then you nodded at Lee that you were ready to begin. Lee took it in a deep breath, waiting the few beats it took to get into the song and started singing. The dance moves you had practiced went perfectly with the tempo of the song. It made you proud to have the lyrics you had written sung like this. Your outfits gave a special element to the performance. When the performance was over, Lee took your hand in hers and the two of you bowed deeply together. Everyone gave you a round of applause and cheered for an encore. When you straightened yourself up, you were happy to see that even Elizabeth was clapping for you. Bravo! Bravo! You are so talented! Your family rose from their seats and came over to congratulate you more directly. You were beaming from ear to ear. Cove was the first one to approach, stepping up to you and Lee with a smile on his face. Nice job. Thank you. You're a really great dancer, Jamie. It was cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks? I was pretty good, huh? You blushed and said nothing. Luckily, we had a crowd who's easily impressed. Um... We're gonna say thanks. <laughs> Welcome. Hey, were you the one who wrote that song? Yeah, that was me. Cove smiled, consent over his guess being correct. I thought so. It was good. You couldn't help but feel pleased that he could recognize your talent so easily. I don't know when I became good at writing, but here we are. Your parents gushed about how great everything was and thanked you for sharing it with them. Elizabeth was complimentary in her own way. Although she did describe the show as cute, which you knew she meant as kind of kitty. You laughed it off, however, and were just happy that everyone had a nice time. In that moment, you couldn't have been more pleased to be a part of the family you had. Y'all, that was really sweet. It was really sad. It got me. I, I teared up, and that's just what happened. Um... Because that would be just so confusing and tough and unimaginable. And, you know, the whole time I was thinking, you know, but I mean, they really only know this family. But it, it would be sad. It would be sad to know that the life that you currently exist in could have been potentially different. And your biological parents are no longer on the earth like i don't know that would be tough anyways that's why i started tearing up because it would be a lot so and then the whole sweet moments of the freaking family time that that got me so yeah anyways <laughs> we're almost done with step two um this has been this has been really 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 good so far i love the more serious um kind of stuff happening here so anyways i'm gonna be done rambling because i can go on forever if you like this please give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below with your thoughts on how this went and if you want to keep saying more hit that subscribe button bye